Hello guys out there, Sacrilege, with another video. This is somewhat of a review. I've been trying this new one, this new product here from Evike. They've been around for quite a while, Bale. Bale. This kit comes with, you know, this for your gearbox. It comes with a spring. It comes with all this stuff. The O-ring, look at that O-ring though. It's a very, very weak, very thin O-ring. It's not the thick, bulky ones that normally you get in the higher quality ones. Uh, you get the cylinder and the cylinder head has double O-rings, which is always good. Now, is this a good product? No. And the reason why it's not is because of that. The O-ring, and I, tr I try using a modified O-ring. Here's the, the regular uh, one from the ICS one, which by the way, I'm getting way better compression than I am from this one. Um, and I already enlarged the O-ring. I'm not gonna enlarge it again. It's pointless to enlarge it at this point. So you can see I don't get really good compression. At first I thought it was the seal, but it turns out that it it's the piston head here. The, the, the head here is, even with a thicker O-ring, um, like the one from here, it doesn't seal perfectly because what happens is the gap between the bottom and the top are too wide. So air is going underneath it and just escaping from the back instead of, if it was tighter and the air will naturally just push against it and push against the walls. You know, the, 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 the O-ring would expand and that's how you get your compression. But because there's so much wiggle room, as you can see, there's so much wiggle room, it, it, you don't, the air just goes everywhere and you don't get good compression. And I, oh yeah, and you can't fit this on the stock one. Now, here's the funny thing. I bought the, with this with the idea of, oh yeah, it's gonna be, you know, upgrade, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be great compression, and blah, blah, blah. And believe me when I tell you that now I'm getting way better compression on this. I actually enlarged this O-ring to make it work on this one, thinking, oh, if I enlarge it, that's gonna solve the problem. No, no, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't solve it at all. But at least now you know. I'm literally like, like, if I put too much pressure, it pops the the, the top. See, it's all bendy and all that. Yeah, you see, it's a huge difference. It's a huge difference. But the stock, I put the other one upgraded there, and I, I leave it at that. It's shooting around uh, 370, 380 at times with... Uh, two eights, so that's just about a little bit over. I think 400. I'm not sure, but it's pretty sure it's pretty close. So I'll leave it at that. So I'll leave this video like that. Um, don't buy a bale. They they have a bunch of different kinds of models there, and it looks like you're gonna get a good deal for 50 bucks, but you really don't. It's it's crap. Piston head is really cheap like you can actually feel the cheapness of it that's the only thing I have to say it's just that poor design there everything else seems to work just fine the but it's just this you know so just stay away from it until they start making better products 